Hey boys, uh, Pete, I guess first to you, mate. Um, nice to get some minutes on the weekend there. Um, how is it coming into the game? And uh, I guess generally just the, the wash up for the team uh, from the review sessions. Uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty unexpected. I actually got on uh, with Hoops' um, blood bin, so um, yeah, no, it was good, good to get out there. Uh, it was a perfect day for, for footy, and um, yeah, it was, um, I think my last test was last year, so it was good to uh, get some minutes under my belt as well. And just on uh, maybe particularly at the breakdown, Pete, uh, what did you see through the review, review session, sorry, uh, that first half in particular, uh, beating the ball a few times, anything that the team can pick out there on some improvements that you need to make? Yeah, we, we knew they were going to come hard at the at the breakdown. Um, I just think um, we're probably a bit, <clears throat> oh, maybe a bit, bit slow at getting to the breakdown to secure our ball. But I mean, they they turned us over a couple of times and uh, they capitalised on that with uh, points or uh, field position. Hey Pete, congratulations! How good's life? You're back in the world of his frame. Uh, congratulations. Um, tell, tell us, well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster year um, for you with the injury as well, came at the worst possible timing. Um, how's it like to be back in the, the squad, but not just back in the squad, back in the frame to play? Um, did it take you a little bit by surprise, given the competition of the back row, that you um, that you got your chance finally? Uh, yeah, we got you know we got some quality back rows here and. Um, we sort of just work off each other and um, yeah, it was great to get the opportunity to run out, especially uh, being my first Father's Day was a pretty special day, uh, having my little one and my, my partner there as well. So yeah, it was, good, um, it was a good day. Pete, what's, gonna, what's it going to take? We, a lot of people, when you came over from Crusaders, um, expected that you'd just be, uh, you'd take to international rugby like a duck to water, given that you're successful with the Crusaders. Um, it hasn't kind of crept like that. What, what do you think will take to take um, to become a consistent member of, of the side? Uh, I think just um, probably training well to start off with, and definitely getting um, more minutes under our belt. Just uh, yeah, just consistent. Just being more consistent around uh, my game and uh, what I can do for the team as well. And just um, who, who in particular, what's been the feedback over the last six or well, one, one month, six months, 12 months from Dave? Because you're part of that first team, I'm pretty sure, um, at Wellington. Um, and then you kind of fell out of the frame a little bit and now you're back. What's, what's been the messages from Dave? Uh, mainly just um, just winning those, uh, those races in the breakdown. Um, you know, we've got to, uh, as the showed last week or the weekend, um, you know, they turned over a lot of ball. Um, so that was pretty much my work on was just getting in there and uh, not letting them uh, steal our ball. And obviously getting coming back from injury as well, so. Greg, welcome back, mate. Um, did, you, did you thought you uh, played your last? Just for the Wallabies, probably, or the 2016. Mate. What was it like when you got the call from, from Dave? I, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, how, how did that uh, call go down? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, thank you. It was a bit of a strange one, actually. I um, I sat at a table with him at the Bledisloe lunch, and I've been doing a bit of coaching and stuff with the force, and I, I asked if I could come in and just watch a few unit sessions, and I missed his call, and I assumed that's what it was about. When I rang him back, he said, mate, we've, you know, we've had a few injuries and a few things going on. Do you want to come in for the... Have, you know, train for the week and possibly the next month. So, yeah, it caught me a bit off guard, but uh, yeah, I've got a lot of learning to do in the next sort of week or two to try and get myself in a position where, you know, if need be, I'll be, I'll be right to play. Watching the Wallabies through, I suppose, the coach's eye then, what have you made of, of how the pack's gone, both at sort of scrum time and I suppose up front, winning those physical battles and at the breakdown and sort of winning those races? Um, yeah, the breakdown's a tough one. It's something that the New Zealanders are very, very good at. I thought, especially around the scrum, the, the couple of tests over in New Zealand, you know, hard place to play, being over there for a long time, I thought our scrum was really, really good. So, you know, if I can 
you know, if I can come in and add anything, any any of my experience and help it all, help out at all in that area, that's that's what I'm looking to do. Just say, Greg, um, coming into the very youthful squad, I think eleven or twelve out of twenty-three uh, players on the weekend were under twenty-five. How do you sort of what experience do you bring from past World of Champs to ensure that they're not not affected by sort of the past three got us by defeats and they sort of keep moving forward ahead of this clash with um, Springboks on Sunday? Yeah, it's it's probably just being around the guys. You know, they I can see by being here a pretty short time. I can see they're pretty tight, pretty close knit group, which is which is always going to be the case. But you know, it's just trying to get trying to get guys not not overawed by the situation. You know, not when the chips are down. You know, you lose a couple of tests in New Zealand. It's not the end of the world. You know, we can bounce back and play a very good team in South Africa, and yeah, you know, we can beat them. Like I know we can do that. So it's just you know adding a little bit of help. Being there, being there to talk to him, we need be. If anyone needs to talk to me, just you know, give them a little bit of advice where I can, and you know, just helping out the whole program. You know, just having a few older older heads can can just help calm things at times. So you know, I'll be looking to do a little bit of that. In your last game against South Africa was around, was around 2015. If my memory is correct, uh, Dave talked about sort of different challenges compared to the All Blacks and South Africa. Um, possess. Can you sort of elaborate on what what makes this team so essentially difficult to prepare for? Uh, we don't, you know, they're the number one team in the world at the moment, so you know, that's, and rightfully so, you know, they've won a lot of big tests. You know, they're a big, huge pack, you have to nullify that. If you let the South Africans bully you, they'll, they'll just continue to do it and they'll just steamroll the whole game. So, yeah, it's one of those things, they're a very good team. They've got slick backs, huge forward packs, so there's not really one area you have to nullify. Everyone has to be on their game to try and deal with South Africa, but I have no doubt we can, we can beat them in this weekend. Hey Greg, um, we we always think of the All Blacks having this, um, uh, or perhaps there's an element of scarring there, just because there's you know 20, 19 years now. Um, but the Wallabies have had pretty good success over the, the Springboks, um, particularly at home. Do you, do you think that Australians don't necessarily have the same fear or, or feel like they need to prove themselves against South Africa as they do to New Zealand? Um. Yes and no. I think it's you know it's obviously we have performed better, especially at home against South Africa. Um, you see, how I've got the water off at the moment. I don't know if it's a little bit of mental thing or it's just you know they they really seem to get up for the the test against us. That's that's something we have to improve on. Um, yeah, it, it's a tough question. I, I don't really know 100, percent but I know we'll be you know we'll do everything we can, everything in our power to be right for this weekend, and you know we'll go in very very confident this. Against the against the box this weekend. Do you think that the um, the style of rugby that, that Australia plays actually like we, we know that the British and Irish pub, the public must be thinking uh, how the heck is the Wallabies going to win when British and Irish lines don't even win and, and you know they also obviously beat uh, the one that won the World Cup just a couple of years ago. But does the style of Australia and New Zealand almost um, help play the, the spring box because? They're quite a defensive oriented team, and, and obviously, Australia and New Zealand like to um, manipulate the field in different areas. Yeah, absolutely. If we um, if we can impose our game on them, it's only going to benefit us. So again, you have to nullify that set piece. They're a big team, and I think we've got the players here to do that. And then, if we can, you know, impose our fast paced game, get some good field position against them, so run them off their feet, they make them uncomfortable. That's how you have to beat them. So that's what we'll be trying to do. Anything else, guys? What? Hey, Greg, Greg Nick Taylor, I don't know if you can hear me. I've been in there at the field. Can you hear me? Yeah, got you, mate. Yeah, mate, congratulations. Hey, just a quick one. Obviously, you got the call and we got told by Dave. It's been a discussion with uh, Talala, isn't it? Because obviously, the bus due next month. Yeah, I was pretty bloody busy last week. So, yeah, we're preparing for a baby, our, for my first baby ourselves. And, um, yeah, we had everything set up there in Perth. And so I had to. Uh, have some pretty serious talks with her, and I'm, uh, I was pretty keen to have a Queensland baby, so yeah, we ran around, uh, got everything sorted, got the tra uh, the hospital, everything sorted out over here in the Gold Coast, and I'm gonna fly her over on Thursday. She had to have a few a few meetings with the doctor and make sure she was right to fly. So yeah, we're, hope we're hoping to um, everything will go to plan, and we'll have a uh, baby boy at the uh, start of October.